and welcome to another episode of Hockey Talking. My name is Clay. Thank you for tuning in. The trade deadline is less than a month away, which means things are going to start heating up on the player movement front. So what can we expect from the Hawks during this spicy time frame? Let's discuss it. Now, the Blackhawks find themselves in a bit of a peculiar spot right now with their play really picking up over the last 15-ish games. They're finding themselves in the playoff hunt right now, which is kind of new for them this year, which means that they're not really sellers anymore. But with how the season has played out so far, they're not really buyers either. So if they're not buyers and they're not sellers, what does that make them? Well, it kind of means that we just may not see a whole lot of action from the Blackhawks this trade deadline. Now, it's going to really depend on how the Blackhawks fare these next couple weeks coming out of the All-Star break here. I think the longer they stay in the playoff race, the more quiet this trade deadline is going to be for the Hawks. Now, they still may make some deals at the AHL level, maybe some draft picks as well. But for the big league club, big league names, uh, it's probably going to be pretty quiet. Now, it's also going to depend on the opportunities that present themselves. The trade deadline is notoriously a seller's market. If you want to get someone to help your team make a run, you're going to overpay this time of year. The Hawks aren't really in a position to be the ones paying this time of year, but they could be selling. And not necessarily be sellers, you know, sellers, but just in the fact that they have some players that maybe other teams want. And if other teams come with a pretty darn good package uh, and an overpayment that you would be crazy to say no to, then the Hawks may find themselves having a little bit of a change in plans. So that begs the question, who do the Blackhawks have who may pique the interest of other teams? I think there's five or six guys that may have that description. Certainly the two goaltenders the Hawks have, Robin Leonard and Corey Crawford, I think fit that. Uh, both on the last year of their deals, which means it's not a whole lot of risk for a team to go in, all in, for a goaltender, like one of those two players, and not have a bad contract that they're stuck with after this year. If the team feels like they have the team to compete for a Stanley Cup, but just need a goaltender to solidify that position, they may come a-knocking. Whether they can afford Robin Leonard, or maybe they just can afford Corey Crawford, it's going to depend on the team. That's probably going to be the decision on which one gets moved. Then you have about four other players, two forwards, two defensemen. We'll start with the forwards. I think you have Brandon Saad and then probably Ryan Carpenter are the two guys that may draw interest from other teams. I don't think the Hawks really want to move on from either of those two players, but it's all going to depend on the offers that are presented. Then you look at the two defensemen, and I'm going to say probably Connor Murphy and Ole Mata are the two guys that will pique the interest of other teams. I don't think the Hawks really want to get rid of Murphy considering he's a right-handed defenseman, but he'd probably get the most return if a team came knocking. Ole Mata has got a bit of a high salary, so that might be a little iffy for teams, but for teams who really you know, want to go all in and really want to solidify their defensive core, their third pairing, you might see an offer. Now, you may wonder, why haven't I mentioned Eric Gustafson? Well, I don't know if he really uh, is wanted by any other teams right now. I don't think there are teams that are really making a push that really see him as someone that can really help them make that push. He's, re he's really just struggled this year. Last year, we were saying, oh, this guy is going to get a ton uh, via trade, you know, a ton back. But this year, his stock has pretty much just dropped off. And I don't know if I really see him going anywhere. If he does go anywhere, I think maybe it's the Hawks that kind of uh, push that trade to happen. Now, with all that said, personally, I think it's going to be a pretty quiet trade deadline for the Blackhawks. But I'll tell you what, there's one thing that's not going to be quiet, and that's going to be all the rumors that are going to fly around, all the opinions, all the hot takes. Uh, especially as the trade deadline gets closer. So just try and keep uh, your head above water. Take things with a grain of salt. Fact check yourself because you can't really trust anyone else to do it nowadays. So yeah, try to breathe every once in a while and try not to freak out. But it should be fun. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Hockey Talkie. Let me know how you liked it and what your opinions are down in the comments section below. Like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate that as always. But most importantly... 
stay safe, make good decisions, and I'll see you next time.